Hey guys, welcome back to the secret of Monkey Island, the special edition. Right, so why are the monkey's ass is this guy crying? Let's go ahead and find out. The governor is gone. The Chuck and his spectral crew came and got her. They put her in the ghost ship and spirited her away. She was so good to me. Always conveniently losing those health board reports. <laughs> For a small consideration, of course. What'll become of my business? She's probably a free grog or something. Me. Right, so... Governor Elaine Marley has just been kidnapped. The ghost pirate's lair is on Monkey Island. Everybody knows that. Don't ask me how. <laughs> All you need to do is find a way there. Will you join me? Uh, alas, I cannot go to sea. An old war injury. I'm sure you understand. Where can I get a ship? <coughs> Why, Smiling Stands use shipyard. Same as everybody else. Tell them I sent you. We're old friends. Good old Stan. Alright, <laughs> give me a drink. <laughs> get your own drink. Get your own drink. I'm too busy crying. Right. I'm off. Good luck. Be sure to wear your mittens. Okay. And your galoshes. Right. And don't forget to write. Okay, I will. Bye. Boy, can this guy cry? It's so crying. <laughs> this whole kitchen should be flooded. Alright, so the governor has just been kidnapped by LeChuck and his crew. And uh, because LeChuck is in love with her. And now we have to rescue her. So what do we have? Oh, we just got this idol. That was the third part. That was the thievery part of um of the three trials. Um, and unfortunately, we couldn't get get back to the three. Uh, what do you call them? The three pirates, the three leaders, or whatever they were called, because they're now gone. Everybody's gone for some reason. Um, I guess they've all been spooked by Governor Marley's um, kidnapping by LeChuck. Alright, so what we have to do right now, I guess we can go in and out of here at will because he doesn't care anymore. Okay, so we... Uh, Alright. We have to get these mugs. Why? Because we have to fill it... fill them with grog. And why do we have to fill them with, with grog? Because we have to... We have to um, help, um, what's his name, Otis, the prisoner, escape. And why do we have to help him escape? Because we need a crew member. And oh, yeah, Otis is that Cuban sounding dude uh, in the prison. So, yeah, the mission right now is to gather up, gather up a crew to head off to uh, Monkey Island. And also get, of course, get a ship. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, we're gonna need to use, no pun intended, um, hotkeys, which are the keyboards, or the keyboard keys. Otherwise, not only is it annoying having to scroll up and down with the mouse wheel, but, but because we have to keep, oh, what do you call it? Hurry up. We have to be quick with replacing these mugs. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Because as you can see, the this grog is, like acid, or it probably is acid, and we have to. Okay, let's just be quick about it. Oh no, <laughs> I'm dead already. We have to um quick, be quick and replace um each mug with another mug. Each mug filled with grog with an empty mug. Just before it totally melts the mug. Right, everybody got that. Right, use this mug with another mug. And we probably have to do it one more time or not, maybe, I don't know. Use this with this. We have to do it again for the next cell. Hey, a drink. I'm really <laughs> sure. <dirty>. Yikes. Psh. <laughs> wow. And to think 
think I used to drink that stuff. I'm free. Reminds me of the aliens from the Sigourney oh, yeah. Weaver aliens. Maybe they drink grog. I don't know. Do well, actually, <laughs> there is something. I'm looking for brave people to join my crew and sail off to Monkey Island with me to rescue the governor. <laughs> She's been abducted by I didn't realize how short and is being held um, against her will Otis was. In secret hideout. I see. Mm -hmm. Well, Jess. Mm. Well, Jess. <laughs> Chuck, you say. Well, Jess. Jess, of course. We must sail to Monkey Island and. <gasps> hey, look behind you! I three had a monkey! He's actually gonna fall for it. Yes, he is. <laughs> hey, that's my line. Stole my line. Alright, we have to do that grog trick again. But, um, yeah, so he's run off, but not to worry. He will. We, we will get back with him later. Meanwhile. Lechuck and his crew Melee. find their old hiding place in the underground rivers of Monkey Island. Drop anchor. drop anchor. So is this the secret of secret of Monkey Island? I just stopped by to congratulate you on your kidnapping mission. Captain. Hmm. I wonder what Captain. Fester Shine Top's doing here. No, not really. I know who he is. What do you know? It turns out he he was Lichuk all along. Never felt better. And how <coughs> ah, yes, the uh, prisoner. <laughs> we had a little trouble. Trouble? No, 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 nothing to worry about, sir. Everything's under control. She escaped a few times, but we've got her locked up in the brig. <laughs> no one's getting in or out of there. For your sake, I hope not. With years of planning almost destroyed by my death, I'm not taking any chances now. You took care of Mr. Threepwood then? What's the planning? I forgot. Threepwood will not be a problem. At this very moment, <clears throat> he's 20 feet underwater. Probably I was loaded up like a fattened pig. His eyes being eaten out by crabs. Fish pecking at his fingers. Kind of makes you wish you were there to watch. Ah. Yes, sir. Ugh. Sure does it that. Now, go check on the route. Make sure it's locked up tight. Hi, hi, Captain. All right. <clears throat> hey, by the way, that narrator reminded me a lot of um, the narrator from Space Quest IV. All right, so we have to do that grog thing again. Just one more time to get the rat out. I'm not sure why, to be honest. Because we don't need these guys. Maybe for later, I don't know. So back to here. Let's collect our mugs again. Pick up. Uh, okay. There we go. Oh my god, he's still crying. He's big fat cry baby. <laughs> big fat cry baby with your diaper on your head. Look how tight. Kybrush's pants are, jeez. <laughs> Is that how they used to wear it back in the whatever time period this was? Tight, like, kids' pants, socks pulled up, with really baggy, a really baggy shirt, oversized shirt. Anyway. <laughs> Alright, so here we go again. We have to be fairly quick. I don't know what, what you're supposed to do with the pot, because I didn't have to... I don't think I had to use it for the meat, or did I? I'm not sure. <clears throat> okay, so let's just do this before. Oh, yep. There we go. See how quickly it melted? <clears throat> we have lots of them anyway, so it doesn't matter. Once I cross this door, or, or cross over to the other door, I'll use it.
And then probably one more time here. Hello, rat. <clears throat> Jeez, you're welcome, rat. I don't think we can open these. I think it's welded shut now. Yeah. Huh. It looks like Otis has only been in there for like ten days. Or right now what? I don't know. So we have Otis as our because we need three, I think if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, three crew members. Let's see what this, what's up with this guy. Let's talk. Right? Talk to Archway, no talk to this dude. May I help you? <laughs> he totally doesn't sound like he looks. I was just on my way to the governor's mansion. Are you here for the looting? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely not. That's good. Because we are booked up so <laughs> for the next five hours. Okay. Let's see what's here now. I think at the end. We, we don't need to do anything here until the end, I don't think. Um, we do need to get something from this dude. Not sure what... Oh, we need to get credit from him. Yeah, I wish... Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking way ahead right now. Alright, so these guys... They could have been in our crew, but they don't want to be. They're, they're too lazy. Um, oh, wait a sec. Maybe we can talk to the, the voodoo lady. Maybe she can give us some info, some info on, on what's going on. Uh, Hello. What's that? So voodoo, not voodoo lady. That psychic's name in Matrix. Yes, I must go after the governor. Uh, I see you with some uh, whatever. Mine's gone blank. Just had a brain fart. <laughs> she has bingo arms. Quiet. I am getting another vision. The Oracle, that's the word I was that's the name I was thinking of from the from the Matrix. That's what she reminds me of. You will search for the ghost pirate Lechuk. Okay. He hides deep. Why does she keep looking at at us in the fourth wall? One thing powerful enough to destroy Lechuk. What? It's an ancient root. All right, guys. Remember that an ancient root. Yeah. That is the key word, root. More vision. Spill it. <laughs> Why speak in tongue in 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 code? Just tell me straight out. Or eating you. I can't tell. The vision isn't coming in clear anymore. Or maybe she's getting visions, but she, she can only translate those visions. She's she's trying to translate those visions as best as she can, which is why she's speaking in in codes, in like kind of like a coded message. Ooh. Maybe that's a secret of Monkey Island. Anything new that we can pick up? Guess not. <clears throat> Did we even need to go there? Or was that just extra info? Just Oh that's right, we needed to to learn about the root that we needed to kill the Chuck with later on. Not really kill, but get rid of him for a little while. Now where am I going? I, I don't even know. I just decided to click things. Um, that's right. We need to get a boat. I don't know why we can't just use these boats here. Just lay, just because nobody is here. Everybody's jumped ship, so to speak. Everybody, everybody's left. So why can't we just quote unquote borrow their ships? All right. So we need a ship. We have a crew. Oh, we need to get a crew first. This guy won't join us. Not that I want him to anyway. Um, yeah, so we need three people. We have, we have one at the moment, Otis. More or less, he will be there later on. Um, I think the Swordmaster will join us. And also this guy. So that's our three crew members. 
um, if I am not mistaken, if I remember correctly. And then we can go to Stan and buy a boat or a ship. You've already got the t-shirt. What do you want now? <laughs> she goes from quite pretty, uh, really pretty, to just with those eyebrows down, totally ugh. <laughs> Uh, well, that's good. I want to embarrass you sword fighting and I want us to be friends. Yeah, let's be friends. Why can't we be friends? The governor's been kidnapped. What? That's ridiculous. Oh no. This looks bad. Very bad. I'm getting a ship and not good. Go rescue her. Hmm. I have a <clears throat> feeling I'm going to regret this, but count me in. I'll meet you at the dock. All right, we have two people. And we still can't exit to the right, to stage left or whatever it is, stage right. What a lonely place to live in. What if you get robbed? Who do you run to? Um, Alright, so we have two people. Who's the third one? That's right, this dude here. <clears throat> have we already been here? Not sure. The tattoo guy, or the guy with the talking tattoo. I forgot his name. Um, use chicken on the cable. Hook Island. Restroom, souvenirs. <laughs> How are the guests, the customers, supposed to get there? Not ev not everybody carry carries around a, a what do you call it? A rubber chicken with a pulley. Oh, Yen. Hey, I don't like visitors. Who are you? Who? Who am I? Um. Uh, the governor's been kidnapped. What? That's preposterous. Oh, really? Take a look at this note they left. Oh, no. This is horrible. What are we going to do? Um. We could get a crew together and sail off after them. What an idea. No. Uh. If we only had a captain. Well, what about me? Ha! You! Ha! 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 Something in here that I want to show you. Something horrible. Something so horrible. <laughs> he totally builds it up like it's a, just about the it. biggest, scariest monster ever. To scare you. I'm sure a big, brave guy like when I first saw this, I thought no I was expecting something after all, huge. Uh, what's his name? Uh, from X Men, that huge guy. So What's the name? Let's just hope you're uh, quicker than I was. I forgot. Brain fart. Oh, I just remembered something. I never did get around to feeding him this week. Ha ha ha! So sounds so scary. I'll let you open this last door yourself. Just let me get out of your way. Wait. <laughs> Getting cold feet. <clears throat> no, I just don't know what I'm supposed to do. You're supposed to open that little door. And if you're brave enough, touch the beast inside. Oh, is that all? Okay. <laughs> okay, <go ahead. laughs> it runs all the way up there. 
what's his name that I'm trying to remember from Deadpool 2 um it's all caged up all the other prisoners are just you know in their normal cells Juggernaut that's the name yeah that's what this scene kind of reminds me of name that little fat kid what do I do with this pull over won't budge okay yeah, whatever just open <laughs> so scared <laughs> All it is is just some stupid parrot. <laughs> Let's talk to it. Bother. That's all it is. <laughs> you, just... <laughs> you just touch him. You are a brave man after all. Ah, uh, yes. I guess so. All these years, you had the guts to do what I never could. <sighs> I feel like such a coward. I'm not good enough to be on your crew. I'm not even good enough to swab your de 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 <laughs> Oh, come on, Mr. That's great voice acting. Mr. Meathook. <clears throat> You're a big, strong, good-looking guy with a great tattoo. I can make a talk. Well, that's say. like three out of four anyway. Anyway, not sure about the good looking part. You can swab my decks anytime. <laughs> really? Sure. I can still be on your crew. Just pack your stuff and meet me at the dock. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Woo! I won't let you down. <laughs> Looks like we have our third crew member. Anything else to do here? Hey. Maybe I'll get a chance to show you my whole tattoo routine when we're at sea. Wow, this is sounding better and better. <laughs> I actually want to see it, if there is one, if he actually does have one. Anyway, alrighty, so we have our crew. All we need now is a ship. <laughs> we have our ship crew, but we don't have a ship. Whee! Let's see, let's see what this used to look like. It works both ways. That's some it's, chicken. It says that every time. Okay, let's right, we'll head over to Stan. Stan the man. Oh, really? We've done everything here, I think. Oh, actually, no, no. We need to get, go to Stan, and he'll tell us about... He'll tell us that we don't have enough money, so we have to get some money from the storekeeper, or credit, anyway. And then go back to Stan and do some haggling. All right, everybody got that? Hello, Stan. So I guess he's back from ripping more people off elsewhere. Probably at his crypt in Monkey Island too. I want cheap. I want to make you a deal that you're happy with. Because if you're not happy, I'm not happy. But I know you're going to leave here happy today. How do I know? <laughs> Just look at all these ships. I've got that nobody wants. For everyone. Come, take a look, look at the office. It's just one table. It's like a so restroom what are you with a table. In looking at today? Something cheap. Let me see the best ship you know. <laughs> I can go through all these ships, but it'll take forever. It's, we don't really need to. So I mean, not to. So, but go to last or man. Uh, he, he doesn't want to sell his blue one. Not that we can afford it or anything else. Um, Something not too expensive, but built to last. We're gonna get the one, the one in the background there. Hey, one that's, that's half motto. sinking. I've got just the boat for you. Walk this way. Mm -hmm. Now I can see you're a no frills kind of guy. But I can also tell this is the Viking one he's talking about, I think. I mean, just look at the way you dress. Rugged, <laughs> like this baby. She comes from a land far to the north. With a sea. Yeah, that's a good thing to do. Insult the customer. Men are tough and hey, you wouldn't happen to be from there, would you? You just seem to have a sort of Nordic quality about you. Where is Guybrush from? I've never really Googled him or checked him out on Wikipedia or anything. I know there's like a Monkey Island wiki somewhere. 
Money, money is no object. <laughs> yes, it definitely is. All right, we need to ask about credit. Actually, I was hoping to get one on credit. Sorry, kid. Neither a borrower nor a lender be. That's just old Stan's philosophy. That rhymes. Old Stan's job, philosophy. The in town might you some there you go. That's the line we needed. Now we can ask about. We can ask the storekeeper about the about credit. Uh, <laughs> that's all we have. On second thought, this may not be the ship for me. Of course it isn't. You're looking for a much bigger boat. I can tell. <laughs> so, what else can I show you? Nothing for now that I have enough money for. Actually, I'd like to go think about it some more. Sure, sure, think it over. I don't want you to feel pressured or anything. <laughs> Bye now. Pressured. <laughs> I forgot to <laughs> And here's something else to remember me by. A compass? An extra strong magnetic compass. He loves waving his arms around. Good old Stan. Right. We'll see him again in uh, Monkey Island 2. Le not LeChuck's Revenge. Is it LeChuck's Revenge? You know where to go. Yeah, LeChuck's oh, Revenge, I think right that is the subheading. Back, With Largo and Bargo. Le Chuck. That sounds French. He must be from France. Must have like a French background, Le Chuck. Alright, alright, let me go already. Jeez. <laughs> I will be, because I have to be. You're the only ship seller in the entire, on the entire island. Which, by the way, it reminds me, I wonder how the islands of Hawaii are going. There was a hurricane coming their way um, yesterday. Oh yeah. Oh, well, we'll go back back this way. So we need to get some credit. Everything seems to be blue at night. Um, does this dude like live here or something? <laughs> Doesn't he at least want to sit down from time to time? Is that the monster parrot? No, a little too small. All right, it's still ten o'clock or sort of. The small hand isn't isn't exactly on the ten, but whatever. All right, hello again, Mr. Grumpy old storekeeper. Um, I'm interested yeah. in procuring a note of credit. You are, I. Uh, you got a job. That's what I just said. <clears throat> yes, I do. I do. Oh, I'm. Uh, Want to be pirate? We'll out. Oh, that's right. This part we have to remember how he does this. See that lever at the top on uh, the door handle? We have to know exactly how he turns it. All right, left. Clockwise left, anti-clockwise left, and then up. Left, clockwise left, anti-clockwise left, and then up. All right. Did, 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 did. All right, got it. <clears throat> Let's see here. What did you say your occupation was? Hmm. I'm an acrobat with a traveling circus. <laughs> no, actually, I'm a uh, cannonball. <laughs> Where's your silly accent? <laughs> hey, that's racist. <laughs> but then again, it's back in the, it's the 90s, so. Or released in the 90s, so it's fine. Alright, so he's not actually going to give us the. Or not willingly going to give us the thing. <laughs> and uh, clockwise, anti clockwise, left, and then up. Yeah, so he's not going to willi willingly give us the credit, but we're going to get it. Don't you worry. What are these roles? I've been wondering. You know, let's just have a quick look at what it used to look like. Oh man, I, <laughs> the nostalgia never ends. I can never stop feeling the nostalgia. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> I love it. I'm looking for a swordmaster again. So can you just like leave your shop long enough for me to um, steal stuff? 
maybe if you asked her again. Hmm. By the way, I just I just had one of my teeth pulled out, so if I'm talking kind of funny or funnier than usual, um, it's because of that. All right, all right, grumpy old fart. All right, so what was it? Um, left counterclockwise, counterclockwise, counterclockwise left. No, no, clockwise left. God damn it! All right, this is which one's pull? Why is pull? S is push, or so let's pull, I guess. All right, push is clockwise, so clockwise, then to the left, then anti-clockwise, left. This is just my way of saying it, and then up. Woohoo! Oh, I guess take the note. Do we have the note? Oh, it's just, oh, that's right. We got this from Stan. Oh, what? Stan's previously owned vessels. I won't shut up until I've made you a deal. <laughs> that that is true. He won't. Oh, there's the compass. Set sail for good value. All winds blow towards Stan. Stan's. <laughs> Warning: contains strong magnet, which may interfere with other navigational equipment. Believe it or not, we're actually going to need this later on. I'm pretty sure. I, the good and to get back home. Keeper, do or back here. For the debts of the bearer of this note for any amount up to 5,000 pieces of eight. Why, thank you, Mr. Grumpy Old Shopkeeper. <clears throat> now let's head o back over to Stan. Stan the man. Stan the salesman. What? I don't know anybody named Stan or Stanley in real life. I've never met a Stanley. <laughs> only I've only heard of it on TV shows like Seinfeld, Stan the Caddy, and here, and uh, some other movies. Yeah. Let's not go in there and disturb his crying. He might start crying on our shoulders or something. It's always that lovely romantic moonlight. I think this is where it's going to end. Or maybe when it ends, it's going to be sun. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Sunrise? I'm not sure. I have forgotten. Huh. Use the ship and pour it. Have we been everywhere, everywhere yet? What is this island supposed to look like? Pac Man? Howdy. Nice again. I knew you'd come back. Everybody does. You know why they come back? Just because you're the only ship seller on the on the entire island. Everyone, come take a look around. So, what else can I show you? All right, we have the credit. But we still need to haggle because it's still not enough. It's only we only got 500 pieces of eight, I think, or 5,000 pieces of eight. I've got just the boat for you. Walk this way. I don't want the Viking one. Very good. All right, so we're gonna get this one. This here is the famous Sea Monkey, the only ship ever to make it to Monkey Island. And come back with anyone aboard left alive. Or should I say, any anything? <laughs> you see, the previous owners of the ship were two adventurous pirates. They set off, like many before, to find the legendary mm. secret of Monkey Island. Right. And like many before, they disappeared forever. Their Ooh, fate, okay. a mystery. Almost as mysterious as how this I wonder who those two people were. Island without a single human aboard. Some claim it was sailed back by a crew of chimps. Chimps? Mm. There aren't any chimps in the Caribbean. Oh, shut up. It makes a good story. <laughs> anyway, this baby's mine now. That is, until someone makes me an offer. How much would you like to spend? Mm. We got credit. I got credit from the storekeeper. Will you take it? Hey, <laughs> he will, but only after some haggling. Credit's always good at stands. 
It doesn't matter if you've had credit problems in the past. Divorce, chronic gambling mishaps. I mean, who am I to judge, right? If the storekeeper trusts you enough to give you a letter of credit, then you must be an honest man with a steady income. Right? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, right. Let's get down to brass tacks, shall we? I know you want it. Mm. You know you want it. And you know I, I know that. You know that I want to sell it. So. And I know that you know that I know. <laughs> yep, makes sense. Um. Well, what do you think it's worth? You could sail this puppy away today for just 10,000. 10, right. <laughs> yeah, no. Let's what? talk extras. Let's remove extras, rather. You want to talk extras? Extras. <laughs> <laughs> this baby's loaded with extras. For instance, <clears throat> did I tell you about the. Alright, so we have to foggers? get him to drop some extras. I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Okay, but don't blame me if you run into an iceberg or something. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the anti-lock anchor? <laughs> I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Sure, throw safety to the wind. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the rack and pinion rudder? <clears throat> I think I can live Whatever that is. Particular piece of junk. Well, I guess it'll float without it. <laughs> barely. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the velour sail covers? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Hey, travel light. I can understand that, sure. Of course, mutiny <laughs> is <a> <laughs> But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the tackle meter? <clears throat> Excuse me, oh, my throat's itchy. <clears throat> I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Wow, does your wife know you're such a cheapskate? <laughs> but wait, there's more. My wife, or future wife, is on another island and she's just been kidnapped, so it doesn't matter. I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Uh, once he goes back to the first one that he kind of talked about, I think that should be enough. But wait, there's more. Oh my god. Did I tell you about this simulated wood siding? Whatever that is. I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Okay, but I'm telling you, barnacles hate simulated wood. But wait, <laughs> there's more. Did I tell you about the porthole defogger? Yep, all right. Enough bad extras. Uh, see how much it's worth now, okay, or how much he's willing to sell it for. Well, what do you think it's worth? You could sell this puppy oh, what? Today <laughs> Still. Hmm. Yeah, five thousand. Uh, <laughs> I'd like to make you an offer. Let's try it anyway. How much? The. Hmm. I'd I have like to haggle from two. Of eight. Sure, I guess we can start out at the bottom. <laughs> I got all day. I'm going to be getting a whole new shipment next week, so you got me over a barrel. <clears throat> I've got to sell this baby, even if it means losing my shirt. Mm. Well, what do you think it's worth? You could sell this Still 7,300. Today for just 7,300 pieces of eight. How does that sound to you? <laughs> Let's just jump straight to 5,000. See what it, like see what offer. happens. Great. How much? All right, 5,000. But that's my final offer. That's a little bit more like it, but not much. Mm. I know you can try harder than that. I guess we have to haggle some more. Would it take to get you to sail this ship away today? Um, maybe we can. Perhaps we can take away some more extras. I've already taken these off. I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Okay, but don't <laughs> run into an iceberg. Yep, iceberg, blah blah blah. Iceberg or something. But wait, there's more. 
Did I tell you about the anti-lock anchor? Yes. I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Sure, throw <laughs> safety to the wind. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the rack and pinion rudder? Yes, twice now. Enough about extra. <clears throat> All right, let's try haggle. Try offer three thousand. I'd like to make you an offer. Great. How much? He has the most annoying voice, annoying accent. Great. <laughs> Wrong direction here. <laughs> <laughs> I want to prank somebody with that accent. Great. Hello. My name is Stan. <laughs> Let's make another offer. Great. How much? Uh, four thousand. Okay. Okay. Four thousand pieces of eight. That's a little bit more like it, but not much. Oh yeah. I know you try harder than that. Buddy, you can tell me the truth. It's the little woman, isn't it? You're afraid of what she'll say when you come home with a new. <laughs> this is exactly what car salesmen say. They must have the Lucasfilm or LucasArts crew must have got a real um or got advice from a real car salesman for this part. Uh, let's make another offer. How do we drop it down to 5,000? Alright, 5,000, but that's my final offer. 5,000 pieces of eight? Yes. I think okay. He changed what he said. Okay. Yes. It's so, me, but I guess we just had to say it twice. I, I don't know. This or maybe because we went from 2003 then four I'm in steps to get rid of it. <laughs> oh yeah do you no, have that no. note from the storekeeper on you thanks i've got to run these numbers by my boss he'll think i'm nuts but i'll talk him into it you meet me at the dock with your crew <laughs> That's exactly what they do. They they quote unquote talk to their boss. I mean, I really felt some bonding here and I just say that to everybody. Yep. It's been great doing business with you. Really? Sucker. See you at the dock and don't forget your crew. All three of them. Right. Where do you go? I sold the ship. Can you believe it? I'm off on a long vacation spending Spend some, some more poor suckers money. Arrivederci, baby. Arrivederci. <laughs> Alright. Um <laughs> cool, so we got our crew and also our ship. And and when I say ship and crew, I use those terms very loosely. As you will see why in my next video. I'm gonna stop it here. Oh, there it is. <laughs> hey, it's a good thing you showed up. Ten people have offered to buy this baby off me while I'm standing here waiting for you. But yep. I said I believe you, I totally believe you. I know a guy who's in love Not. with this ship and it would break his heart to lose it. Am I right? Yeah, sure, whatever, yep. <laughs> stop waving your arms around. <laughs> Wouldn't you just love to push him off this pier? I think we're having a real moment here. <laughs> I've changed my mind. I can't give her up. You can have your money back. How can right. I sell something so dear? <laughs> then again, a deal a deal's a deal, right? <laughs> right. Yeah, I'm, I'm out of here. I don't remember signing anything. Hey, I, I've signed anything yet. I'll <laughs> go get some pamphlets or something. Just remember where you got it. Stands. Sure. 
sir. Maybe I should have Thank you. Extended warranty after <laughs> all. Hey, long time oh. no see. Yeah, you did no see. You, you tricked me. You little two-faced cretin, you tricked me. Oh, come on. Don't be bitter. I'm here to help, not just for the money. Uh, money? Mm. Yeah, we are getting paid for this, right? Yeah, sure. Of course. How appropriate you file your cow. You and the storekeeper. Is it true what, I heard what did we hear? You and the storekeeper? What did we hear? Oh. <laughs> Don't start with me, okay? Because <laughs> so only he knows where she lives. There. He probably followed her home. Just like we followed the storekeeper. Where's the cabin boy? I need him to go back to my place and pick up my bag. <laughs> What's going on here? Where's our ship? Where's our crew? This isn't going to be as easy as I thought. <laughs> cool, we have our three little pamphlets. Alrighty, so that's part one. Wow, wow, that was a long part. I think part two is just really quick. It's just the, the journey to Monkey Island. Through the courageous leadership of Captain Freep, uh, Threepwood, the sea monkey is finally, finally underway. Undaunted by their sea monkey. It looks a lot better now, though, in Expertise, daylight. The crew begins to plan their voyage. First of all, I'd like to say it's great to be working with such a fine crew. <laughs> the voyage ahead is not going to be easy. It's going to take skill, endurance, and most of all, teamwork. First, I thought we'd assign some duties. What is it we were suckered into doing again? I made a list. Suckered is right. I don't see what the big deal is with rescuing the governor. She can clearly take care of herself. The way I look at it, we got this great ship. Well, ship anyway. We got eight. <laughs> Why don't we kick back, tie a rope to the wheel, and cruise for a while? I could use a little work on my tan. Come to think of it, yeah, it is pretty pale. I out lately. I <laughs> could use a rest. Then it's decided. We cruise the Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I will leave it there. Um, yeah, I'll leave. Uh, what is it? We're going to sail for Monkey Island in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys then.